Manchester United has confirmed that one of Britain's richest men, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, is to buy a 25% stake in the football club. The 71-year-old is Ineos's. It, it, 71-year-old Ineos Group is expected to pay in the region of 1.25 billion pounds or 1.6 billion dollars for the minority stake. Well, for more on this breaking news, we can go live now to Old Trafford and join our sports correspondent Nesta McGregor. So, Nesta, we've been waiting for this for a long time, haven't we? How much of a surprise is this? Uh, yeah, good afternoon, uh, Regini. Uh, I think that this is the Christmas present that lots of Manchester United fans would have wanted. You pose the question, how big of a surprise? Well, this deal has been potentially, let's call it 13 months in the making, and there are times where we've been told it's imminent. There are times that we've been told it will happen a week from now, two weeks from now, and it hasn't done so. So perhaps a surprise, but not a surprise at the same time. To go into the details uh, of the deal, some of what you've just mentioned. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, one of the richest men in Britain, a boyhood Manchester United fan, has acquired a 25% minority share in the club, just north of £1 billion. Uh, pounds. And I think the important part of the statement is that is Ineos Group will be in charge of footballing operations. And that will be key for lots of Manchester United fans uh, watching this. The Glazers have been in charge of the club since 2005. 13 months ago, they said they were looking at potential investment. Um, and there were two serious bids from a Qatar businessman and from Sir Jim uh, Radcliffe both wanted to take total control of the club, but the Glazers decided against that earlier this year. So Jim Radcliffe um, then put in a bid to earn uh, a portion of the club, and that's this deal that's been taking so long uh, to come to the forefront. Today, though, um, it was uh, announced, as we said again, 25%, just over a billion pounds, footballing operations of the men's, women's and the academy team. And that will be key for a lot of people. Manchester United, one of the biggest uh, clubs in the world, maybe in a bit of turmoil on the pitch at the moment, struggling in the Premier League, already out of Europe. It was seen that it, maybe the Glazers weren't doing the job uh, of business on the pitch. And so Jim Ratcliffe, who already owns a, a, a French club in Ligue 1 and a successful racing team as well, does have some sporting uh, pedigree. So, yeah, certainly Manchester United fans may be very, very happy at the news, but we talk about him being a minority shareholder. The Glazers are still in place. So Jim Ratcliffe does own a part of the club, but what does that mean when it comes to football in operations? Will he be able to hire and fire managers? Will he be able to buy players that he wants to buy if the Glazers uh, and him have some disputes? So all very interesting, Regina. This is just some breaking news at the moment. So we're still finding out some details and we'll be waiting for some more as well.